Hello my lovely Scorpio, welcome, welcome, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and welcome to this channel Scorpio. I really hope you're doing great. Now we're going to have a look what is coming, what to expect for the week, the upcoming week, March 27th through to April 2nd, 2023. Right, I do have prepared seven decks here. If you can see a little bit even, yep, yeah, seven decks because we have seven days of the week, right? Yeah, it might not resonate exactly with the day versus the deck, but you know what? It's just interesting, something a little bit different. Right, Scorpio, I really hope you're doing great. Thanks so much for being here. For everyone who subscribes, likes and comments, and especially about commenting, guys, I really appreciate that, that you reach out or you let me know what you're seeing, how you're feeling, what's going on in your life. I do wake up in the mornings and I do reply as quick as I can. It really gives me so much pleasure and really appreciate indeed. Even a little emoji, you know, really warms my heart. Alrighty, righty. And if this not resonated with you guys, that's absolutely fine. You know, it is for Sun, Moon and Rising Scorpio. So you can go to your Sun, Moon and Rising signs, check them out and have a look at those videos. They might more resonate with you as well. Wow, we have Wealthy Man. Do you know what? <laughs> This week, I have to say, I think three or four or even more signs actually got wealth on unexpected income. It is so amazing. This week is so, so packed with good fortunes and great things are happening around. Okay. However, we have wealthy man and main male. It doesn't have to be just a male per se, but it's very strong, kind of macho, very strong um, um, person. It feels like it could be you or you meet someone who is like, this kind of person who is very wealthy, could be self-employed, could be business person, could be boss or something. And they're going to influence or Im have an impact on you as well. But it could be as well that you are actually striving to become one of these. Okay. You will want to become one of these people, kind of the qualities, I mean, okay. Not just by looks, whatever. But it looks they're very comfortable in their lives. Okay. Money isn't an object. However, this person is, look how they're ready to go out or something. This person is ready to work, okay? It's very influential card. Maybe you're planning to uh, share your information, what you know. Doesn't matter what kind of genre it is. Maybe crochet, maybe how to do things. Maybe you're teaching something somewhere. But it feels like you have so much to give. You must so much to give. And with your, either this is business or this is your knowledge or your experience, you can actually monetize it. That is so good to see. So it's really up to you, right? You all have free will, so you can do whatever you want. Right, what do we have? We have karma. We have karma and we have emperor. Very, oh, do you know, it feels like this. Whatever was meant for you is coming your way. Okay, so if something doesn't happen the way exactly you want, don't worry. It was not meant to happen. Don't force things to happen. Okay. Look at this per emperor. Aries is looking at the world. Maybe your money is making money. Maybe you are wanting leveling up. Maybe there could be some opportunities that you could be become a boss, become a leader, or even uh, less workload. And life is becoming much, much easier because this person is not doing, they, they work with their head. Okay. Not hard work, but smart work. Okay. It could be as well. Let's have a look what else we have here for you guys. Six of Swords, you're coming away from some difficulties. You are definitely reaching a point of good things coming to your way. Mm -hmm. Because Six of Swords is walking or driving away. You could actually maybe buy an even new car, right? You are walking away from the troubles. Some, some sort of situation is going to be resolved. And it could be that the, this main male or wealthy person or even emperor or Aries could be helping you assisting you a time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo but this green this is green chakra a new start is coming here we are a new start is coming you, you really a point very point and you know what that could be so you might feel insignificant but sometimes those little conversations, some sort of, someone might have been impressed the way you work. Someone might have been really like you, okay? And they might, behind the scenes, they could actually recommend you to somewhere, somewhere. And sometimes those little things, little moments, turn your life around, okay? 
it's turning your life around. This karma and the time to give rather than take is literally, it's your time to, even though it says right now, give rather than take, but it's your giving something. You are giving other, this is, as I said, you might be sharing information or you're working and you're very knowledgeable. Another emperor. This is so, so interesting. And again, travel. Three ones. Look, he's looking, um, he's turning back to us. As if like you're turning back to the past and now you're looking ahead like emperor. It feels like you really, this week, you are really going to call your energy back, call your spirit back and really gain that Scorpio power back. That's what I feel here. And look how he's holding the world. you in charge. And I don't feel that anyone's going to be kind of... Even though this is a male male, there could be someone is assisting you. No one's going to control you. There, I don't feel that energy here. It feels really someone is here to help you. And you might not even know about it. It feels as well you are stepping into those shoes as well. You're stepping into that energy. All right, Scorpio, what else we have? And it could be you're planning somewhere to move. It could be move of residency, your work, your status. Okay. So if you were, I don't know, employee here or something, you might become a supervisor or manager or something. Okay. There is a change happening. There's a change happening. Blessed sight and clarity. It is going to fall in place. And, and you, maybe you have been working a lot of hours and doing something and nothing was happening. Nothing has happened until now. And you will see why. And as I said, if something doesn't happen, don't force it. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to protect you. You are really in sync with yourself. You are in sync with your higher self. You are in sync with um, with your spirit guides. And th good things are coming your way because you deserve it. Scorpio, what a week. I really feel very empowered. If, uh, power, empowerment. Wait again. Okay, here we go. And it's up to you. So as I said, don't force things. It is going to come naturally. Naturally. And let go of the past. Let go of perception. Let go of assumption. Let go of uh, what if and this and that. You know, these kind of earthly questions that we ask. How much is that going to be? And how long is it going to take? Go with the flow. Look at this six of swords person. It's just He's just going with the flow. Because the good things are coming your way. Let that good come in your life. And let go of of um, things that are slowing you down. It could be people even. And you might need to move place or work to actually do something. Or a residency. And it's up to you. As I said, you have fr free will. Everyone has their free will. And sometimes maybe this leveling up or... The change could involve that you need to maybe move house. Maybe you need to travel a bit longer. That could be as well. You might need to, because it's extra extra money and you're like, okay, uh, what time am I putting in? What am I getting back? Ace of Cups, you're going to love this. This is a new beginning, you know. And I very feel like you are going to make a good few relations here. Either this is love, I don't know, but it is very definitely a good friendship. Three of Cups, look at this. Look at this, Scorpio. You are going to celebrate the affiliate here Saturday. I'm seeing Saturday. <laughs> it is a weekend day, I know. But it's going to really be blossoming kind of day. You are going to have a... Together, maybe you're going to have coffee or rejoice. And I feel here as well, guys, that you are going to spend time with like-minded people. That doesn't drain you. That you don't have to pretend some that you are someone else. You can be yourself. True to yourself. And you can be as you are and being very um, professional at the same time and being very um, successful. Because it feels not just your way is coming relationship, but you're going to give as well. There is great exchange of energy. Brilliant, brilliant week. Amazing. Very a little bit spiritual, but a lot of things are going to happen. And it's up to you. Just let it go of things and don't force things to happen, my lovelies. 
okay oh wow what a week it is <laughs> all right my lovely scorpios thanks so much for being here check out my other videos i do a couple pick a card readings so there's a good few things to explore as well in my channel so but anyways thanks so much for being here and i'll see you guys in the next reading Ta-da!